South Korea's state-run economic think tank expects the country's economy to see 1.5 percent growth this year, a cut from the previous forecast amid sluggish exports. But it adds that inflation is likely to slow down more than expected. Our Lee Soo-jin has the details. A South Korean state-run economic think tank expects the nation's economy to remain sluggish. In its outlook published on Wednesday, KDI forecasts the economy to grow just 1.5 percent this year. That's down from February's projection for this year of 1.8 percent and lower than the OECD's forecast of 1.6 percent. This is largely due to the drop in exports, namely of chips, the nation's key export item. Preliminary data released the same day by the Bank of Korea showed that the nation's exports in March recorded an on-year decline for the seventh straight month as chip exports fell 33 percent on-year. The nation's economic growth in the first half of the year is thus expected to fall below 1 percent. The think tank, however, expects a rebound in China's economy and the chip sector to boost economic growth for the second half of the year to 2.1 percent. The recovery is expected to continue next year. In 2024, our economy is expected to see a modest recovery, and macroeconomic conditions will normalize by the end of the year with inflation gradually stabilizing. The economy next year is expected to grow 2.3 percent. The outlook also forecasts that as exports see a moderate recovery, the current account surplus will double from around 16 billion U.S. dollars this year to more than 38 billion dollars next year. Consumer prices are also expected to grow just 2.4 percent, down from 3.4 percent this year. However, if global demand for chips remains low, economic growth may be limited. There are also uncertainties regarding the potential impact on South Korea of a rebound in the Chinese economy. If the recovery in the Chinese economy is limited to the service sector, the impact on our economy may be limited. Concerns over other external factors remain. The Russia-Ukraine war may trigger consumer prices of food and energy to rise once again. High borrowing costs from additional rate hikes may also lead to a slowdown in investment and economic activity. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.